right so i wanted to quickly what up guys it's Sina. hello i'm just trying to like jump in the information and be super quick about it Rolled. anyway so i'm going to go over some of the things that we purchased um on aliexpress as a way to save money with um our newborn who is actually almost five months so i had little one in October. he was due I don't have him in October. He was due in November and he was born in November. That happened. So <laughs> I am going to go over with you guys some of the things I bought from AliExpress. To say this before, I did a butt ton of research on vendors, um, products, comparing them with AliExpress. If you've done any shopping on AliExpress, Alibaba, you know that you definitely have to do your research. You need to read your reviews and also sometimes contact the um, vendor and have a back and forth dialogue. I did all of that. So this is the things, these are things I purchased um, and the ones that I guess I found the most value in compared to the other items that just really weren't worth shit. Um, understand when you're ordering from AliExpress, basically it's time versus cost. You wait about a month for uh, most of your items, but they are most of the time significantly cheaper. Um, but again, quality, what you're getting, you kind of run the risk of that. But I would say for the most part that I was pretty fortunate um, and a lot of the things I definitely use. So, um, items. Excuse me. <laughs> mom life, y'all. Mom life. Living that mom life. Don't mind my phone going off. Okay, so the things that I purchased from AliExpress that I absolutely love are diapers. cloth diaper if you guys want a separate video i can totally make a video on our whole cloth diaper day um the items that i use for cloth diapering are not 100 percent from aliexpress but the covers um i have some all-in-ones uh yeah, covers all-in-ones that's pretty much what i have from aliexpress that's what i purchased in newborn as well as since he's gone up in weight, the actual one size. Um, so definitely cost effective. I absolutely love them. I love the little designs uh, and the quality of them is actually really, really, really good. So again, if you guys want a video on the whole cloth diapering process, who we buy our pre-folds from, all of that, please let me know. Blankets. So I actually had the uh, thought that I was going to be making all this baby stuff. Mm, no. So I did make him obviously one blanket just because I had to do it. But I did purchase a lot of our blankets and swaddles from AliExpress. My son hates to be swaddled. Like out of the vagina, he said, fuck that. You not about to wrap me up at all. So we did not use swaddles at all, um, maybe to cover him up, to hold him, to cover up the uh, stroller when we went out and about, but he was not trying to fuck with swaddles at all. All babies are different, but definitely something you want to have on hand. But again, for us, swaddles were just not it. But I do love them. We use them a lot now as he gets older for him to lay down on um, and cover him up and all that kind of stuff. So you get your use out of it. I just didn't want to knock it off so early because a lot of things that they may like or dislike when they are younger, they kind of grow into it and you find use for them later. So definitely blankets, muslin swaddles. You can't beat the price, y'all. Cute designs, you cannot beat the price. My wrap. So I absolutely love wrapping him. I got the Moby knockoff and absolutely love it. I have three wraps since he's been born. I have the actual boppy um, wrap that they have. And then I have, I can't remember the other one. It's more of like a stretchy jersey material type of wrap. And then I have the Moby knockoff. 
I absolutely love the Moby knockoff because it doesn't have as much give as the gray one and it just feels more secure and he's in that bad boy and he knocks out or he just calms down. So you can't beat it. My only thing that I would say is don't get black. Washed it and now I have a whole bunch of lint. We have three dogs. Uh, not the business, okay? So don't get black, but I will say definitely one of my favorites, if not one of the top three. Um, that wrap is love it. The dog atop. So the dog atop knockoff. Um, it's a yes and no for me. It. It's a yes and no again. I think because my son did not enjoy it. In the beginning, he was like, fuck this. You're not putting me down in this foam thing contraption. I'm not with it. And again, he wasn't swaddled. So he was just <laughs> all over the place. He was not having it. But we do use it a lot now. As he got older and we can put him down for naps, I like having it down in the living room. Um, and he pretty much takes a nap. He's not on the couch. It doesn't really you know, shift when we move on the couch. So definitely, again... It is one of the things that we fortunately were able to use later and I think he's getting more comfortable using it. So would I say to get this over Docatot? You would have to do your research and understand we didn't use Docatot for co-sleeping or anything like that. We had a separate co-sleeper. Um, so I do like it. It was just something that you use. For us, we had to use later on. Toys. No. What? No. Okay, uh, everything that I got uh, from AliExpress, I washed a couple times. Just me being me in my Virgo-ness, I washed things a couple times. So I washed this rattle. It was a like a stroller rattle that had the little beads in it in a circle. Um, it had a little teething thing. Um, washed it and put that bad boy in it wasn't even in the dryer yet put it in the washer about to transfer it over to the uh, dryer and it popped open and all the beads fell out like holy shit what if i had given this to my child he's chomping away teething and boom that bad boy breaks so fuck no 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 i am so sorry but even with all the reviews people loving it that was a solid no for me. So all the toys that I did get, I got some other socks, came off, the little sock rattles, the little nose piece came off. Just to me, not worth it. Boppy. Four thumbs down. Shit's whack. Their boppy is like half the size of the other boppy. It was completely pointless. Uh, completely pointless. I'm not, I still have it. I didn't give it away. I didn't donate it. Um, yeah, not the business. I like the little cute colors and whatnot, but that was something I had to buy a couple days after he was born and I went out for our first kind of adventure and sightseeing, getting out of the house. Uh, definitely bought him a boppy for my own use when I nurse him. Uh, to just the transition so now he's sitting up with it and we can kind of put some toys on there for him to play with bras one thing you won't know is how big your tots are going to be how big your udders are going to get but definitely buying some bras in the beginning were super 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 helpful i think i went maybe two sizes up than my norm um and they worked out great, uh, especially in the beginning when you're getting used to nursing, leaving, walking out, not knowing when your boobs are going to start leaking because it's all the time. These bad boys just leak off. They just leak all over the place. So definitely having some bras just in case. Um, yeah, I bought some nice colors that I can't really find here. And the prices you cannot beat because these nursing bras are ridiculous how expensive they are. Like you just put a little clasp like I can make these bad boys. You'll charge too much for nursing bras. It's sad. Belly band.
okay so belly band i bought this belly band from aliexpress because i saw the exact same one on amazon and i know a lot of people kind of do the same thing aliexpress amazon so i decided to just buy it from aliexpress save myself some shmoolah uh I think overall just this type of belly band was not the business so it had three parts that you kind of transitioned with as you went through the whole postpartum phase like the first week you wear this one band and then week two to four you wear this other band it's just supposed to help constrict so it did work not gonna lie it definitely did help tone up the tummy get the tummy tight but not to the extent that i wanted it to and the boning started to poke through and that was a deal breaker because I'm sitting there and I have all this shit stabbing my back and my butt. Not the business. Who wants that? So definitely I would do a little bit more research, do better reviews, and get yourself a quality waist trainer if you decide to use it. I know some people don't. Brush. thing i was really surprised i didn't think it was gonna be like that good but the wooden brush set that i got was absolutely adorable and great great quality um obviously it's not needed i just thought it was a cute keepsake um and it's so cute and it's so like solid it's some good shit i'm very top three that may be number three changing pack So I can't remember the name of it. You'll see it probably somewhere in the picture if I put it in here. But it is exactly the knockoff of, of this uh, changing pad. And you can store like the wipes in there and an extra set of clothes. I love it. It has a little pad for his head to lay down on. Love it. I've used it out and about so I don't have to lay him. A lot of places don't have changing tables. Let me just say that. What kind of bullshit is that? A lot of places don't have changing areas. So there's been times where I've had to change him on the literal sink um in the bathroom uh another sometimes floor like there's nothing available which i think is crazy so definitely this changing pad was awesome um i felt safe i felt secure it was easy to clean and again the price so if you plan on buying stuff from aliexpress all i can say is buy it early do your research and give yourself enough time from due date to actually go through the stuff, see the quality of them, uh, of the item, and then determine if it's kind of a no. Like the boppy, I kind of knew, but I just wanted to see. I didn't know how big baby was going to be because maybe he would have fit in there if, you know, he was a tiny baby, but, you know, he wasn't. Uh, so those kind of things you definitely, you just want to be able to do your research once you receive the item, go over it. I bought a whole bunch of other stuff. The, about ice um like ice pads the squishy little beads to put on your nipple if they get sore okay put them in the freezer and those things are supposed to be able to move and shit like a rock okay and then when i was able to move it that bitch popped open so again it's easier also to part way with stuff when you didn't pay full price for shitty stuff that's all I got to say. So definitely check out AliExpress. They have a lot of awesome, awesome items. Um, I may or may not link some of the vendors that I use just to give you guys, you know, a heads up on looking for stuff. But again, give yourself time, do your research, and you can save a lot of money buying baby items because shit's expensive. Okay. Thanks, guys.